Hi, this is Rahul and welcome to the Tech Tutor channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to create a new project and how to create new tasks for that project. We are also going to see how to change the, uh, the task scheduling mode from manual to auto, how to change the working hours of a project, how to add holidays to the project. Now, these are all the things that you would want to do typically at the beginning of the project and uh, you know these are things which will remain for the entire duration of the project and i would also like to show the sample data that uh, i would be using throughout this entire tutorial series and you know this is going to help you if you wish to follow me and use the same data for the step by step walkthrough on the on the on this tutorial series so let's get started on the first thing uh, which is creation of the project now, when you create a new project in Microsoft Project Tool, uh, this is the screen that you will see, a blank screen, blank project that gets created. And to add a task, just go on the task name column and start adding your tasks. So I'm just going to give a few tasks here, like task one, task two, and so on, just for, the, for today's example here. Now, you would see that this has only created the tasks, but it hasn't really given any durations. Now you may want to do that with, uh, you know, adding some dura durations here for the task. So let's say task one is two days, task two is also two days and say three is four days. Okay. Now you will notice that all these three tasks that we have created has got the scheduling mode as manual schedule mode. Now what happens is if you're going to have the let's say the start date is today so um, you know it's going to finish two days later and you have the second task dependent on the first task so you may want to add a predecessor as the first task which is task one so i'm going to add one here and you would notice that you know once i add a predecessor although this is manual scheduled it has taken you know the start date as the the next day uh, when the predecessor task has finished, which in this case is task one. And similar, if I put the task two's predecessor, task three's predecessor as task two, you will notice that, you know, it, it gives you the, the date change automatically. Now, why, why would, you know, you still want to have these uh, new tasks as manual, uh, as auto schedule rather than manual is the reason that if I change now, uh, the duration of these tasks let's say I task change the task to a duration to three days you would notice that you know task three now hasn't really changed the start date because now it has taken the date the date as 115 by default uh, because it was you know how it was created had this been auto scheduled you would notice that you know the start date has changed now so you know typically you would want uh, all the tasks that gets created to be auto scheduled and the simplest way to do that is just go to the bottom you will see new tasks are ma manually scheduled click on that you will get the auto schedule just click ok and uh, all new tasks from here on so if I create task 4 for instance you will see that now this is auto schedule and if I put this task 4 as dependent on task 3 it will take the new date the start date if I change the date duration of task 3 say 6 days it's going to take you know it's going to now start from the next day um, when the predecessor gets finished for task 4 so that's the reason why you know we should have all the tasks as uh, auto schedule rather than manual the second thing that I wanted to show was how to change the working hours of a project so for that you need to go to file click on options and under schedule you will see that the default start and end time for the project is 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. now let's say I want to change this to instead of 8 I'm going to change it to 9 and 9 to 6 and that's how it's done you know you need to just uh, go and click OK you can also change the new task created from manual to auto or from auto to manual on on this screen as well I don't want to change that for now so I, I would like to keep it as auto and just click OK so for now uh, this project will take 
the 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. as the as a standard official working hours. Uh, this is all going to help us, you know, when we go into the later tutorials, when we are going to assign resources, we are going to see some allocation issues and and things like that. So all those things depend on you know the working hours that we give. So it's always advisable that you know you start your uh, when you start a new project you do all these uh, you know initial configurations for your project uh, the next thing that I wanted to quickly show was how to add holidays now again this is something which you may, you may want to do in the beginning of the project itself so you need to go to project click on change working time and you will see that you know we, we have for any new project the standard project calendar is applied so I'm not going to change that for now and I'm just going to put holidays. Uh, let's say you have a public holiday. So in India, we typically have a holiday on the 26th of Jan, which is the Republic Day here. So I'm just going to put that and uh, okay, let's say you have people working on working in, in the US and say 4th of July is typically the Independence Day there so oh okay all right it comes on Saturday but let's say you know you have the 6th of July as the holiday okay um, so that's how you do that you know you, you can add holidays up front uh, in the later tutorials I'm also going to show how to add holidays for a particular resource uh, how to add a task base uh, uh, you know holidays and and things like that so that's going to come later for now this is all that I wanted to cover and what I would also like to show is the sample data that I'll be using for the rest of the tutorial series um, so I'm going to use this data here uh, I have taken the IT project as the baseline uh, for me here so you you will see there are different phases in the project like requirements design coding unit testing integration and so on um, so just for now I'm just going to quickly copy and paste this so that you know when we start our next tutorial we have all the data that we need so let me just quickly do that here and also I'm going to copy the predecessors So here we go. Uh, we have now the all the data that we need for our rest of the tutorials, and you would also see that uh, you know for for this one here, we have the uh, all the tasks now that we have added. Uh, you will notice that you know most of the tasks are not indented. Uh, of course, I I think I'm going to change this to auto again for inception. Uh, yeah, this has changed all the dates here, as well as for requirements. Okay. Um, now to quickly indent this task just select the tasks go to the task tab and click on the right indent tab yeah so this is going to indent all the tasks so under requirements you now have all these tasks as the subtasks and uh, you can create any more tasks that you need uh, one more thing I wanted to quickly show you was how to create a task if you want let's say for example you want to create a task with it between elicitation and elaboration all you need to do is go to the task under insert you will see a task so this is going to insert that task okay so uh, I hope uh, you have uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, that's about it that I wanted to cover for today's tutorial if you like it please do leave your comments and uh, see you around in the next tutorial Thanks for watching.